Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to figure out how much sulfite to add to your wine and how to calculate that in grams. So I've got my little scale here. We'll turn it on. And I've got a little um, teaspoon. So let's zero that with the teaspoon. All right, so um, let's say you want to add 50 parts per million to um, five gallons of wine. So if you want to add 50 parts per million free SO2, um, potassium metabisulfite is only about 57% free SO2. Um, so what you'll have to do then is divide by um, 0.57. So if you can start by basically working in liters because one milligram equals one part per million in liters, which is the beauty of the metric system. Um, but we'll say 50 milligrams per liter equals 50 parts per million potassium metabisulfite. So to convert that to free SO2, divide by 0.57, which equals um, 87 milligrams that you'd have to add if you wanted to, to make one milligram, 50 parts per million. Now five, gallons, there's about 3.785 liters in one gallon. So five gallons is about um, 19 liters. So we've got that number 87 milligrams per liter and we have to multiply that by 19. So what that gives us is 1653 milligrams. So we'll call it about 1.65 grams. So what we'll have to do then is we'll just measure this out. Getting close. All right, so 1.72, we're a little bit over and I don't mind going over in this case because um, this sulfite, you never really know how fresh it is. You always wanna buy new stuff every year, but um, it loses its potency as it as it gets more exposure to air. So um, what we'll do then is we'll just take this 1.72 grams of sulfite, stir it into some warm water, and then um, stir it into our wine, and then we'll have added 50 parts per million of free SO2 to that wine. So it's as simple as that. 